Hey everybody, Herf here. Welcome to another episode of our Conan Exiles Savage Wilds playthrough. Uh, we are standing here with our good friend Thor. Um, and I, I don't know what I've showed off and what I didn't. So while I was waiting for him to come back, uh, in between episodes, I was I was brutally thrown back here. Uh, ejected from a cave by a one-head boss guy. So I don't remember what I've showed. I've organized chests a little bit more anyway. I've doubled up on our chests. Um, I have gone and collected, although I think this has stopped, um, we have 700 hardened bricks almost. Every single one of these are from the city. I haven't made a single one. Uh, I've made 180 regular bricks, so my collection skills are better than my actual cooking skills. Um, we have, uh, what, another 11, 1200 here, so we've got about another 600 iron cooking. Which is great. We got ourselves the Wheel of Pain, which I don't know if I showed. We've got ourselves a compost heap. So with the raw ash that we picked up in the last episode, um, <clears throat> I need blood and a couple of other things. But with the raw ash and this compost that we've made and like blood, uh, that might be the only thing we need. <clears throat> but I, I wasn't able to unlock um, the, the fluid press yet to get the blood. So, anyway, long story short, we got a bunch of things to do today. I noticed in editing that I, I I leveled up and I went in and I had like four or five skill points and I only spent one. And since then, <clears throat> since that point in the last episode, we have gotten a few more. So I have seven actually to spend. So what I'm thinking is that what I want to do today is I'm going to pump this up. One, two, three, four. We're going to get here. Uh, active followers gain passive health regeneration. So I usually pick this one because I just don't notice, um, you know, this this boost when I when I cause damage. Like I literally don't notice it. I do notice this one. So I think it suits my play style a little better. And I was going to just keep pumping authority because I want to get to the point where we can have two followers. But I really want to get. I think my next step is going to be. Um, to get the uh, the second skin, which will reduce the weight of heavy armor, because what I want to do is uh, yeah get ourselves heavy armor, uh, and that's going to be the gorillas that live up and around here. We can get heavy armor from them. So we got a bunch of stuff to do today. Nothing super fun, uh, basic stuff, but I really want to get the heavy armor to keep myself alive. Um, and Mr. Thor is going to help me do that. But first. We brought back our, uh, brought back three Jaguar Cubs. And uh, after a little research, it looks like the best chance for us to get a greater Jaguar is to feed them exquisite meat. So Thor and I are going to come up here. Is this a, uh, it is perfected, okay. And we're going to, we're going to off this uh, young buck here. Or I should say, I'll do it, and I'll... Come on, Thor, buddy. He just doesn't hit very hard at all. There you go. There you go. Thor, by the way, is up to... Level 7, almost level 8. So he's not leveling very much at all. Uh, he's up to strength 12, which is only 4 points in 7 levels. And vitality, which I believe he starts at 2. So he's also only up 4 points in 7 levels. And that's not real good. Um, low within the percentages, in fact. So I managed to remember to bring my stupid cleaver this time. So let's cleave this guy. Hopefully we get some exquisite meat. Uh, yep, we got some, I think. Come on, bud. So I'll save some of the uh, savory flesh uh, for Mr. Thor. And we will feed these jaguar cubs so apparently this exquisite meat according to the wiki gives us a 20 percent chance to get a greater, greater jaguar cub and we have three of them so what i'm going to do is transfer three pieces they should all eat one boom and they insta tamed uh i can't tell if they look any different they don't look different to me oh they're all regular jaguars all right Boo! Herf wants a greater Jaguar. Not that it matters. We probably wouldn't use it anyway. 
So we got regular Jaguars. We'll deal with that. Um, so what else do I have going on? I have a bunch of... Is that already done? Sweet Lord, that was fast. Okay. Um, with no thrall. I crafted a bunch of the shaped wood so that I can upgrade our storage yet again. And I've got a bunch of leather going here. Hopefully trying to get that out of the way. So I think what I'm going to do first is we're going to go kill some gorillas. We're going to level up. Hopefully we get a couple of levels. We're pretty close already uh, to level 20. Well, we're 28 right now. So there's a few things I can unlock. Uh, but I'm going to wait till I get a couple more levels. So let's go up here. And uh, we're not going to stick for every single one of these. But essentially I need... Um, Five of the uh, of the heavy uh, padding, and heavy padding needs four. This is a hardened steel skinning knife. Okay, so the heavy padding needs forty thick leather. So I'm hoping to collect two hundred thick hide from all of these uh, dummies here. And we got six. I guess we got a long way to go. Uh, okay. I don't need that. I guess we'll, we'll hang on to some of this meat. Give you a couple of stacks. And honestly, I'm just going to start dropping this. I'll hang on to the exquisite meat. But So up in here is a few gorillas, like I said. There's one there. There's another one straight up here. Uh, and there's like two or three more over there. So we got a bunch we can battle. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and uh, I'll bring you back for any highlights, but these guys are pretty pretty easy as long as I kill them. Right, buddy? And then, uh, you know, maybe while the thick leather is is uh, going, I want to go into um, I'm gonna go thrall hunting in my room. Because we need thralls. We don't really have any. How about we actually get some skin with the skinning knife? That'd be awesome. Give us some thick hide. 17. Okay. <laughs> this is really going to be long. Alright. I'm just going to drop this meat. We don't need it. I'll hang on to that. Uh, 23. So only, uh, what, 177 to go. Small task. I, I, there might be a camp right up there. Uh, but, okay. A couple of gorillas over here. So we're going to keep going, and uh, I'll bring you guys back with mm -hmm. our progress. So this is the, the, yeah, the little camp that I thought uh, might be up here. So if we went straight that way uh, and down the hill, that's that's where we live. So these guys, patch sail. Uh, we'll see if there's anybody here. We did pick up a, uh, a steel truncheon that I did put the standard blunted weapon fitting on. Uh, I think I had that in the last episode, so that's not new. But uh, these guys don't look like anybody was in that book. Alright, Thor. You're okay, buddy. Take that. Uh, what are these things? Savory jerky? I'll eh, take a dancer skirt, why not? Lady. Oh wow, that was messy. So I'm not going to hold myself to um, to only ladies uh, this time. I mean the basic ones, sure, but uh, egg surprise. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What is this book? Is this nothing? Can't read it. Can't interact with it. Okay, it's in the chest. And carrying iron arrows. We'll take some of those. What do we have? Mia. Yeah, nothing I can look at. Okay. Uh no, no excuse me, buddy. Fish. 
No, thank you. So, alright, that's kind of pointless. You're a disappointing camp. What the hell are you doing way up here? We did get fish way up here, by the way. Any more gorillas? Well, we'll go see if the other gorillas are back. So, so far, let's check what we've got. Um, we're not doing that great. <laughs> we got... We got 116 thick leather. Um, and way more of everything else. What is this that I picked up? Bedtime stories? Oh, I, I learned some emotes, I guess. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Alright, we're going to uh, see if we uh, we have any more gorillas that have respawned yet. Um, they don't respawn right away, kind of like the people, so uh, we may have to give it a little time. Uh, so we may run to Maroon in between. Probably can pick up a little bit of thick hide and Maroon if I look at all the chests, so... Um, wouldn't be a bad idea either to build a Wheel of Pain. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will grab, uh, what do we have for, yeah, can I make, how much string can I make? I can only make 40. All right, so I'll get a little plant fiber. I don't see the gorillas back, so they're going to take a while to respawn. All right, so... We are just outside of, uh, this is the caravan lady. I forget her name. Uh, we're just on the outskirts here of Maroon. So I have crafted us a wheel of pain. I've crafted us a campfire with which we can craft gruel should we find anybody. Uh, I have brought with us all of our purple orbs, which are uh, 13 in total. So I don't think we need anything else here. I'm not going to be crafting up iron or anything here. So I think we're good to go. Uh, I'm just going to need to collect some seeds, I guess. So if we uh, if we find a victim, we'll uh, we'll pull out the old sickle on the way back here. So uh, you're a fighter three. I'm going to be snobby. Oh, you know what? I got uh, we got a first mate's report from uh, Lost Words cavern I cannot afford this so this guy's report isn't what we want okay I think it's just a story I guess all right well figure it out I thought maybe we could trade that in for some coins live and learn uh, let's see what we got these are all oh, purple orb 14. Probably should take those arrows. So Thor's inventory is looking pretty good. Uh, got a lot of spots for carrying stuff. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna go uh, poke around looking for looking for thralls, see if there's any tier, tier fours. I have found uh, in the city. We've come across, what, I think, uh, a Tier 4 cook. And I want to say I saw Luba the Luscious, so like a dancer. Um, and these guys respawn pretty quick for me when I go in and out. So, um, all right, yeah, so I'll let you know if we, uh, if we find anything good. Alright guys, well we came across this dude. Than Hammerblow uh, is a scout right. So I have equipped our little things and uh, let's see how this goes. Oh it is affecting him, okay. Let's get out one of our draggy draggers. Alright, we'll see how this goes. That was one. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like... Hmm. Who threw that at me? Can you believe it was Herf? Herf did this to me. He's trying to knock me out. 
Oh, down. Oh, they both. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Kushite Fighter 3. Uh, Alright, let's drag Mr. Hammer Blow. Uh, and the hammer is his. Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm sure that's not it. Now, where the heck did I put my wheel of pain? It's out this level. It is out this level. We'll throw Mr. Hammer Blow in the wheel. Uh, oh, I've already got plant fiber. Did I do that? Do I not have seeds? There we go. We have seeds now. Uh, all right, let's kick this off. We don't need too much. We just need like 10 because we insta-tame. So we don't need to waste it. It's going to be a top, isn't it? Yes, it is. Boom. Thon Hammer Blow. Okay. How about Mr. Thor carries you? Uh, beautiful. Alright, that's one. One down. That was the only tier four that I've seen so far. Um, I need to deal with my inventory. We've only found six that guide to. Uh, worker bees. Oh, have we gone up? We went up one more. I'm not, you know, we don't really level up just screwing around here in Maroon, so... Uh, I'm not advancing, but at the same time, we are collecting. Alright, I'm going to make a couple more runs and see what we see, and I will bring you guys back for any highlights. What are the chances? We found another scout, right? <laughs> He's right here with, uh, with a master carver. Um, well, we might as well grab him, right? We can always use... Can always use uh, another guy manning uh, the Tinker's Bench or something. So, come here, Mr. Thor. Come here, man. Come here, man. Stay out here. Alright, let me... Throw these here. Let's see. Alright. He's enveloped. Was this lady? She's a smelter, I think, or something. Yeah. All right, so this should take two. We'll uh, we'll knock him out, and uh, we'll 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 get him uh, on the wheel. So oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Oh, we have Gam the Warn. Two scout rights. Uh, you know what? You could carry... I'm getting a little heavy. You could carry a couple of these golem parts for me. I get another pillow. Another pillow! We've also found a backup uh, perfected steel mace. So looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to just frequent in here. Maybe try for one more. Uh, I noticed a spot where there's uh, uh, carpenters over and over again. Uh, I think it's on the upper level. And so I could try for a carpenter. Yeah, we'll see who's who spawned in here. And I'll bring you guys back for any highlights. I, I'm getting tired, though, so I may wrap it up here shortly. Ooh, we need the... All right, well, we found Leo the monster right here. This was really uh, my first trip through, so finding this guy was very quick. Well, let's see if I can hit him here. Look out, lady. Let me throw it down the cliff. No, nope, that's getting... All right. We're going to drag Leo the monster back, uh, and then we will uh, we will be back at camp. So we'll pick you up shortly. <laughs> this priest lady just walked right in and fainted like instantly. Oh, that's awesome. Where did this guy go? Uh, Leo? Okay, Leo fell over here. 
Come here, buddy. All right. Oh, all right. We're losing darkness. Uh, all right. I'm going to uh, throw him on the wheel, and we will uh, meet you guys back at camp. Figure out some next steps. All right. Good news, guys. I didn't already have this pillow. <laughs> it's a new color. <laughs> Herf is very excited. <laughs> pillows, pillows, pillows. Oh, come on, man. No, I can't get out. You're making me look like a jerk on YouTube. Come on. No, don't close the door. Oh. Oh, my God. All right. Herf needs to make another door. Can you, can you go over that way? Literally. All right. Stand guard over there. Get out my way. Get out Herf's way. Okay, um, so the scout right, I had to remind myself by looking at the wiki, uh, we'll take Leo, and we'll take the scout rights. The scout rights are armors, and their particular skill is weight reduction. They, they do a little bit of other stuff, uh, across the board. Um, all of this silk, by the way, is from, I think it's from a bear pack? No, no, it's from, uh, no, no. We got it uh, from the mire over there. Yeah. So, I don't know. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know. We got you first, so you get to go here. So, these guys are both scout rights. Um, so, they will add, you know, a little bit of durability, but not the best. They will add... Um, but they're, they're best at, like I said, uh, uh, weight reduction. So, which is perfect, because we want to make... We want to make some heavy armor, so he will weight reduce it. Um, I don't know that this guy will make the weight reduction kits any better. I need to unlock those. And I don't have... I don't have a torturous table at the moment. So we're going to throw Leo, uh, I guess, on the wheel here. He'll be more useful crafting us uh, chains and other things um, at the torturous table when the time comes. Um, so yeah, I need to go kill, so we, we come back with like, I don't know, it was 18 or 22, some amount of thick hide, um, but you can see we're, we're still well short of 200 to craft a full set of armor, so I'm gonna go, uh, hunt me some more gorillas, and, uh, we will pick you guys back up, hopefully, uh, to crafting us, uh, some, some armor, so we'll be back here in a few. All right, so we went up and uh, farmed our local gorilla population, got uh, just over a hundred more uh, thick leather, and it is, it's processing right now uh, into, th well, thick hide, and it's processing now into thick leather. And I happened to see this uh, baby gazelle up there, and uh, I wanted to check this as an experiment. We put it in the, the animal pen, I give it one plant fiber, and it turned into, oh, it's a fighter. So it's tough. Look at the inventory space in this thing. Look at this. You're so weak. So Thor can carry 10 things. The gazelle can carry 20 things. How good is that going to be? <laughs> Just going back and forth uh, to Maroon and collecting things. Uh, I don't need a fighter. and, and that It's just perfect perfect. If I had two gazelles, 40 things in maroon, I could stay there my entire life. Um, okay, we are... We're not quite at 200 yet. Let's see. We need... Uh, you know what? Let's at least get some of these thick... I think I can craft four of them. Right, let's get some thick... The heavy padding going. Um... Yeah, because these are going to take a while, too. Okay, so I'm going to work on this, and I'll bring you guys back when we are ready to uh, to check out our new armor. I think what I'm probably going to do is make uh, this set down at the bottom for me. The, uh, yeah, the Slave Forged uh, Guardian outfit. We'll probably dye it up a little bit. We'll dye up the helmet, although the helmet is a little silly, uh, but... 
I like to, uh, I'm hoping that we get a Thrall, and I kind of like doing the, uh, the Reaver outfit, uh, for the Thrall. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but we'll be back here shortly when we, uh, we have our, our, yeah, we've got a ways to go, but we'll be back. All right, so we are crafting up the last of, uh, so this is the fifth of our armor reduction kits. So I don't believe the thrall makes any difference for that because there's no stats associated with this. So we have crafted up finally our five uh, heavy padding. So what I'm going to do is craft this set of armor here. And if I did the math right, 140, that's 180, 280, 460, and then 40 more is 500. So this should give us 500 armor. Um... Let's craft, 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 craft. Oh, crap, I need two horns. Horns, horns, horns. I know I have some. Let's put uh, two. Uh, over there. Whoop. Back down. And we'll craft the goofy helmet. Uh, what do I need? Oh, iron. Duh, okay, we're up. You know what? I'll steal iron from here. Uh, let's put that. Is that enough? Uh, what a gripping turn of events here. So this is cool. Okay. <laughs> so let's see how this came up. Uh... So that's 168, which is higher. I think that was 140, right? So that armor value is already better. Um, oh wow, these are gonna, I'm, I'll have to do this math separately because I'm going to fail these. No, 121, that's an odd number. Yeah, see, I think this was 40. It went up 48. So there's some, whatever that percentage is. Um, yeah, pretty good. So we can take all of this. Um, and let's check out the weight. So, this one is, uh, what is the weight? 24.11. So, if I take a reduction kit, yeah, that's under 10. So, I mean, that's, that's a really nice weight savings. Uh, all right, we're going to do it with all of them. In the boots. The boots. Alright, so I'm not going to throw that on now. I'm going to dye it up a little bit. Let's see what we got for dye. I'm not going to do that on camera, but... We've picked up a handful of colors. Um, I can't make any just yet, but yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll do some green and purple. We'll, we'll just we'll look kind of ugly. Um, so anyway, these guys are already paying off. So beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Uh, anyway, I think that's going to do it, guys. Uh, as always, thank you so very much for watching. If you find yourself enjoying what we do, if you pull it for her, if you got any advice for me, do throw us a comment, uh, a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't, as all these things do help out a small channel. And as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next one.